What up, y'all? It's your boy Ace here. Welcome to After News Delight. Hope everybody enjoyed their weekend. It is Monday. Time to get back to business. Time to tap back in. Because we had a huge Monday on BNB. One of the bigger Mondays in the show's history today. A lot is going on. And there's a lot to talk about. Um. Today, I'm going to split everything into probably about three videos. Just hit it on the key stuff. I'm going to cover Sheila's arrest first. Um, and then what Steffi told Taylor. And then the very end where Ridge went to Brooke about uh, the, the truth. Uh, with everything that happened with Sheila and the, the bottle switch and all that stuff. So, before we start, y'all know the drill. Hit that like button as I come on in the room. Share. Subscribe to the channel. Any comments y'all got are, uh, y'all know I love to read them. Y'all know the drill on that. Uh, y'all comments have been amazing. I've been loving reading them and everything like that. Now, let's get into the video. Uh, so, Sheila, the grilling has finally been over. It's over now. I'm so glad I couldn't take another minute of the high horse act from the Foresters. Steffi, Rich, and Taylor, the hypocrites in the room. I couldn't take it no more. I was like, can, can y'all end this today, man? Just arrest her so I don't got to see this no more. Uh, but the only thing that I've actually liked about these scenes, uh, personally, is the fact that Sheila was blunting everything out before they did. You know, she told the truth so that they had nothing on her uh, as far as holding the truth back from anything. Cause they were shot the whole time that Sheila was telling them what they was tell uh, what they were finding out. So I, I like that portion. Um, so now I'm at a point of trying to figure out what's going to happen next, what's going to happen in the future, because now she was behind bars. So the, basically, the way it went in the episode was they had a few more words uh, to each other. Uh, she, Steffi, st steady kept telling Sheila, uh, you, you don't deserve to be loved. Ridge even snapped at one point again, uh, said he hates her and all this other stuff. And then Taylor was being her hypocritical self, saw, talking about some, don't look at me like I'm your friend. Sheila steady telling them she just wanted, uh, to have a relationship with Finn. And look, Sheila wasn't lying, man. And, and, and this is why I got a whole problem with this whole thing because. Sheila genuinely did want a relationship with Finn. Uh, she wasn't trying to kill Finn. And the other thing is they didn't allow her to have a relationship with Finn. That's why we got to the point we got to right now. The only thing that I hate that Sheila had was that gun that day. Because the if she didn't have that, they didn't have anything over her, bro. Like when Steffi co uh, confronted her in the alley, all that was going to happen was... And, and see, this is the thing. Sheila shouldn't have got so desperate because Sheila didn't think because she was having to defend herself. That's why I said the situation is self-defense, bro. And this is why exactly why I've been I've been saying that since what Thursday? Uh that this is self-defense because well I've been saying that for like a month really, but like on Thursday I've really been going at it because of the situation we're in now with this whole storyline, is that she bought out the gun because she got desperate. That she thought Steffi was... And I was like, Sheila, you got to think better than that. She was never going to Brooke, Ridge, or Taylor about the truth, bro. Never. She was never going to them about the truth. I'm dead ass about that. She was never going to them about the truth. Because she wanted her parents to be together. She even said that at the end of the episode. We're going to talk about that in the next uh, video. But Steffi was never going to them. You did not, you didn't even have to take the gun out. I wish you didn't have it on you because you wouldn't have had to worry about her going to them about the truth. That's why she came to you. That's why she confronted you instead of going to one of them. And that's why I said, Thomas better not get all the blame for this because and he's, and he's going to, and that's when I, I that's why I'm going to rip into Taylor and Ridge again. And I'm going to do it fiercely this time because I know they're not going to blame Steffi when she should get the blame. Steffi knew the information. She could have went to Brooke. She could have went to Ridge. Could have went to Taylor. She went straight to Sheila. So she made the mistake. Right? She made that mistake. 
So that's why she went to Sheila, because she wasn't ever attending them going to them. She was probably going to have that talk with Sheila, and then she was going to tell Sheila, you better not tell nobody. I bet you that's how that conversation was going to go if she had that, huh? That's the only thing I'm mad about with Sheila right now. You did not even, you didn't even need to go that far because she was never going to tell Brooke in the first damn place. You was going to have that over her head just like with Thomas. Y'all was going to have that conversation because she, she had that conversation with Thomas. The same conversation except, I mean, Thomas wasn't super evil to her or anything like that when he found out like Steffi was, but all he had to just do well, really, that wasn't even the thing that really set Sheila off the edge. It was the whole thing about Hayes, though, not being able to see him. And, and, and I think Sheila was just at her wits end with the whole Hayes thing, and that's why she really got shot. That's why she really shot her. But she didn't even have to get, get. But she did, she definitely didn't have to worry about Steffi coming out with the truth though, because she wanted to desperately see her parents together, man. She didn't even have to worry about that. That's why I was like, damn, you didn't, you didn't even need to bring the gun, man, because you allowed Steffi to have that over you, man. You shouldn't have did that, man. So that was the only mistake that Sheila made in this situation was that she didn't need to get that desperate. But she don't got to worry about none of that. She ain't going to be in jail long anyway. So she gets arrested, and the cops were in the house uh, or outside the house. And Steffi revealed that she had a wire on her. Uh, she had a mic on her. And they obviously heard everything from outside. It's probably going to be, you know, the one thing is everything that was told in that room, though, it was the truth. And it's not like really Sheila tried to hide anything. So when they listen to that stuff in the court, man, ain't nothing really in there where you could say, oh, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is enough to, to put Sheila in there for uh, the rest of her life or anything like that. There was nothing said in there that was really, uh, it, all she did was admit to the murder, so-called murder, through, the, through self-defense. And that was it. She didn't really do much after that. She didn't really do much after that. So, I don't even know what the cops even have on that. They, they, that was basically just used so the signal to go ahead and arrest her. That's all I saw out of that. And coming in and arrest her. That's it. And so, she, before she got hauled off, I already talked about in the, um, the weekend video talking about the preview this week about what Sheila said to her and my thoughts on uh I'll, maybe I'll just go through it here before I end this video so basically Sheila got her last piece to her Steffi allowed her to say her last piece to her before they sent her off and I'm gonna tell you what and Sheila said this isn't the last you've seen of me she means it and we've been talking about this I've been talking about this with the commenters too um that and a lot of other commenters under the CBS video agree, and, and I saw this on social media too. Like the old Sheila is coming back because here's the thing, Steffi. This Sheila right here, the only reason why she was well behaved was because she didn't want to lose her relationship to Finn. She wanted to prove to Finn that she was a changed woman, and now that he's not here no more, and also for Taylor as well, because Taylor thought she changed. And there's nothing for her to lose now. She lost Finn, lost Taylor as a friend. You know, I hope she don't lose Deacon as a friend, but she probably will. We'll see how that goes. So she got nothing to lose now. She got nothing to lose now. Now she can go back to her old, and I believe we're going to see the darker Sheila that we saw from years past. Steffi, you're the next Lauren Finmore. You're the next Lauren Finmore, man. That's who you are. You're the next Lauren Finmore. Sheila going to come after you like Michael Myers, bro. I'm telling you, you ain't going to see her coming, bro. One thing that, that's dangerous about Sheila, why like you don't want to mess with her either, she just keeps stalking. Like, she don't quit. Once she's determined to get you, she will get you, bro. She will get you. So, Steffi, you think you won the war and all that? No, you only won the battle. But Sheila's going to win this war. She's going to win this war. And it's going to, if you thought this was something, you ain't seen nothing yet, Steffi. You ain't seen nothing yet. Because when Sheila comes back, oh, buddy, it's going to be all revenge from here. You show, you show no remorse. You show nothing. You were ruthless. Because this was your last chance to make things right with Sheila. And you blew it. You blew it, Steffi. You blew it. 
You too rich to Taylor. And Taylor, you gonna get it too. You gonna get it too. You gonna get it too. I don't even think she gonna focus in on Ridge like that. She gonna focus in on mainly Steffi and Taylor, bro. And she coming after Hayes, bro. I'll laugh when Hayes grow up if he wanna have a relationship with Sheila, bro. That's why I hope Sheila does get a chance to kidnap him so that Hayes as a little baby has some good memories of Sheila. Because even though he's kidnapped, he ain't going to remember that he got kidnapped until someone tells him later in his life that he got kidnapped by his own grandmother. But he's probably going to be like Finn, bro. Want a relationship with his grandmother. So, no, when, when, when Sheila's, I mean, when Steffi said, you're not ever going to have a relationship with Hayes or see Hayes, man. All right, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that works. We'll see how that works. But uh, she's going to get out. Like like I said, the only thing I'm trying to figure out right now is the real life stuff as far as Jackie Max uh, maternity, went, how she's written off the show for, you know, to take take a few months or uh, two to three months away from the show or whatever for maternity leave or whatever. And I want to figure out if, because I know I heard Kimberly Bryan's a three-year contract, so she ain't going nowhere either. I want to know, though, if she gets a little vacation, though, away from the show. So I want to know about all of that in the next few months, like what will like how all of that is going to be drawn up on the show. So that's what I got to figure out to figure out the timeline, because it's going to I guarantee you when Steffi goes on maternity leave, it's going to be something, though. It's going it's going to be something. It's going to be something. It's going to be something. It's going it's going to be something, though. It's going to be something. Now, they can always do something where nothing even happened to her. Maybe she go to Italy or something. Uh, for business, Sheila, I don't know what they're going to do with, maybe Sheila is focusing on a whole different storyline, maybe the Eric stuff like I've been hearing, and they have the show completely focused off the Steffi stuff until she comes back, we'll see how that works, man, but I'll talk about that in another time, this video running too long, man, uh, send any comments that y'all got on this whole situation, your thoughts, uh, definitely want to hear them, man, uh, like this video, share, subscribe, uh, thanks button is there. If you guys want to donate anything, I appreciate it. The thanks button is right underneath the video. Send anything yes you can. All proceeds will go right back to the channel, uh, so I can keep uh, posting these videos for free every day. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see y'all in the next two. Thank you for watching. Afternoons delight.